Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our final Old Time Jam of 2020. Woo! Bring on 2021. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Brad Kalodner on banjo. We've got my father, Ken Kalodner, here on the fiddle, and Alex Lacomont playing some guitar. We'll mix it up and switch our instruments around a little bit. Feel free to uh, let us know what you're playing, where you're tuning in from. And we have some uh, special surprises and fun things planned for the uh, jam here tonight. We're going to start in the key of D. Key of D, everybody. Send in those requests. Of course, emoji form is always fun. How about, uh, what's that one? Durangs. 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 We ready? Okay, Durangs Hornpipe Durang's in the key of D. Hornpipe. Here we go, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Here we go.
as we kick off this uh, final Baltimore Old Time Jam of 2020, broadcasting from my home here in Baltimore City. And uh, thanks so much for uh, for tuning in this whole year. We've yeah. now done, I think, maybe 13 or 14 of these jams every other Tuesday. Skipped a couple here and there. But uh, we've tried to keep these tunes rolling. 14? Is, is this number 14? Alex has some this, intel this, on our... Uh, yeah. We, we've been doing some year-end uh, recap, you know, and looking at the number of tunes we've played in the jams, the number of hours we've been playing. So Alex has a, a full report of the 2020 <laughs> Baltimore Old Time Jam. So what what'd you find, Alex? Well, uh, this up over here in uh, the history of the Baltimore Virtual Old Time Jam, <laughs> we've done... Uh, this is jam number 15 of the year 2020, and... We could have done it all. Virtual could, jam number fifteen. Virtual jam. We did. A, we probably did what? Maybe three or four, or maybe five in-person, in-person jams at the Five and Dime Alehouse right. before. Uh, yeah. Before we were shut down. We could have uh, stayed up for twenty-six hours, thirty-three minutes, and forty-five seconds straight, and condensed everything into one. <laughs> wow. Moment. Twenty-six hours of jamming. <laughs> yep. We have jammed, and you have jammed with us for twenty-six hours. Mm. 33 minutes and 45 seconds. It's a lot of tunes. It's a lot of tunes. <laughs> 26 hours of jamming here on Facebook and YouTube. Sweet. <laughs> Countless emojis. <laughs> well, More to come later. These jams have certainly been a, a little bright spot amidst this uh, this year. So thanks to everybody for joining us here. And uh, let's see what do we have up next. There was a request from our pal um, Nicole requesting Angeline the Baker. Oh. I think we should just uh, we should play Angeline. Oh yeah, classic. This is yeah. probably the number one most played old time tune at our Baltimore Old Time Jam of next, all time. I think next time we should fly present, around my pretty little miss might be a close second. We should present a statistic on so the most played tunes in this jam because I have a student who's in from Massachusetts. I'm gonna say her name wrong. Kira or Kira. Anyway, has collected. Um, She's got, she's itemized all the tunes that we played since the beginning of this, uh, this jam. So we can, we can compile those for you next time. Tell you what the most played tunes are. Angeline the Baker.
Devine and the Baker. Baltimore Old Time Jam Classic. Good request, <laughs> Nicole. Woo! Looking forward to the day when we can all play that tune together in person. But this is, uh, this is a nice substitute. And you know, I, I think for the first time in my life, I've really thought carefully about what socks I'm wearing. <laughs> you know, these jams, so, I guess because my house is a shoeless house, I, I try to uh, keep the dust down, you know, and uh, just walk around in socks here. And so for these jams, we always wear socks and everybody comments on them every time. <laughs> There's always a, a crew of people chiming in with their thoughts on our socks. And so for the holidays this year, my father gifted us all new socks. So we should do a Woo! reveal. My socks say they're they're pretty simple. They're black and yellow. Um, and they have this little line that says, you can't see it obviously, but it says selective hearing specialist. Which I would I would consider myself especially playing in old time jams. I think you when, have to be. When there are forty people playing at once, you kinda have to be a selective listener. Or else it's kinda overwhelming. So what are your socks there? Well, so mine say Right there, it says, "Me when my song comes on." And it's uh, a dancing... bunch of dancing ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, instead of taking a selfie today, you can take a picture of your socks. That's right. Mm. Yeah. So Ken got me these like socks, that. and I wouldn't show them off, but I'm required to. <laughs> right. So here's what they say. <laughs> well, you can't. What does that say? Uh, <laughs> You'll fall over. Uh, Wait a minute. You gotta see this part here. Not gonna lie, and I won't read that part. Right. <laughs> Just <Nope>. make shit up. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, what shoes are your and socks? socks? <laughs> yeah, let's do shoes, shoes and, and socks. socks. We'll Definitely. have to do that one later. Yeah, we'll do that. that's in the key of G. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, let's see. We got some requests coming in for key of D. Key of D. We got Sarah Armstrong. Okay. That's a good one. We could do that. You got a request for Wisteria. Well, I'm very Ooh. flattered you requested that. That's uh, not one that we've worked out on uh, fiddle, but it is a tune that we uh, we enjoy playing in yeah. concert on Imbira and Banjo. Right. Good, good request. Thank you, Steve. But I think we'll have to pass on that one because I actually don't I don't think we I, I don't play that on I fiddle. I've never even tried it on Let's fiddle. Let's do that Sarah Armstrong's. Sarah yeah, Armstrong's. Yeah. Going out to Kathy. Okay, here goes. Oh, and... Uh, Lori Alsobrook has an emoji request. Oh, boy. Something about a chicken, egg, hand, moon. Wait, chicken, moon. It's an egg, chicken, egg, hand, wave, moon. Chick oh, oh, chick uh, a moon, uh, moon over the hill, not moon over the hill, no. no chicken that's a Melvin Wine tune. Chicken. No, there's a, there's a oh, Melvin yeah. Wine tune, gee. Chick, baby. Oh, St. Anne's chick. real. Let's, let's play one of those tunes. Let's see if we can figure it out. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here's Sarah Armstrong's. <laughs>
Baltimore old time jam. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. The yeah, it was, it was it must have been an you know, internet uh, thing. It was a, uh, <laughs> it was we, had a, we had a connection. Uh, ACDC uh, broke, <laughs> broke into our jam halfway through. Sorry. <laughs> Zoom bombed. <laughs> yeah, so Ooh. we were hacked. We got a request for a new five cent piece. I think that's new what five cent piece. Lori also broke was uh, uh, was trying to get that one across in emoji form. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the chick was new five. Yeah, and then there's uh, another one from uh, Joe, a Diamond D and Boilet Son or Toilet Son. Oh gosh. <laughs> toilet? What? Wait, John? John? Don't, Johnny, don't get drunk? No? Uh, diamond, uh, diamond and something. Uh, diamond or like Jimmy. So we want to Jimmy. do a new five cent piece? Let's do a new five cent piece. <laughs> well, we think new about five that cent one. piece. We'll get to that. We'll, yeah, Joe, we'll, Joe, see if anyone else can. Uh, can anyone else solve Joe's thing? Let's do a couple more in D. Here we go. If anybody, yeah. and everyone else is welcome to guess those, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's do a uh, new, new five, five cent, piece. cent piece. Oh, and you're also welcome to pitch into the virtual tip jar there at the top. If you pitch in $15 or more, we'll send you a Baltimore Old Time Music Festival sticker. Just include your address, and uh, we will... Send you one of these. Banjo players, right? And then, if any of you interested in a banjo newsletter, I have uh, a lot of these, like, and happy to send you one if you donate uh, or if you contribute 20 or more to the jam. I'll send you one of these. Just include your address. Yep, there you go. That was decoded. <laughs> Julie Ann Johnson. And there oh. is. Uh, Julie Ann Johnson. I am. Uh, this is an issue John. from September. I was uh, interviewed yeah. by Kathy Fink. And uh, it's a really uh, nice, uh, nice uh, publication here. So if you're interested in one of these, just let me know, and I'll send you one. Uh, just include that address in the contribution when you tip on uh, Venmo or PayPal. Okay, here we go. So uh, Julian Johnson and New Five Cent Piece, we could do those two. Sure, sure let's, let's do those, those two. two. Yeah. yeah, New Five Cent Piece. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, Amy Sims decoded it. It's. Diamond E Toilet Sun. No. <laughs> it's a classic old time tune. <laughs> what is it? No. Julianne Johnson. Julianne Johnson, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's new five simple. Yep. yep.
five cent piece here in the Baltimore Old Time Jam. Let's do uh, what, maybe one or two more in D. Yep. So Sadie at the back door. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Julianne Johnson. Got a bunch of requests for Julianne Johnson. You oh, three, that? three for Sadie. Okay, let's do three those two. For Sadie at the let's back. do uh, Sadie at the back door. We can do. We can do both. We can do Mendy. Medley. Slow Mendy. And thanks uh, to that nice comment there from Sparrow, who says, uh, "Yeah, helpful to me f fulfilling my New Year's resolution to get proficient enough at old time on the banjo to feel comfortable participating in a jam." <laughs> well, I'm glad that this jam has enabled your uh, transition into playing music in old time jams, and look forward to the time when we can all play together in person. So thanks for tuning in, Sparrow, and everybody else for joining us in this jam. An attempt for us to feel connected mm -hmm. in this time when we are so isolated. But, uh, cool. Uh, what do we have up next? Uh, Sadie at the back door? Oh, you want to do, uh, do a medley of two? Do we dare do that? Uh, sure, we can try to do a medley. Yeah, we and we'll do this slow, slow, medium fast, medium fast. So what do, you, what do you propose? Can you explain that a little more clearly? Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. So we do, uh, we'll start with um, Sadie at the back door. We'll play that like three times, slow. Then we're going to do Julianne Johnson, three times slow. Then we go back to Sadie at the back door, three times fast. Yeah. And I'm... then Julianne Johnson, three times fast. Okay. Can Before, we do it? Yeah. Before we play it, guitar players out there. Take off that capo. Say at the back door has got a C chord in it yes. and an A, so you want to be capo less. Right, this so one. you can get ready for this. Capo less. <laughs> hey, capo less. <laughs> That's my middle Keep name. Keep it down. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start with Sadie at the back door. Someone's going to name switch. their kid capo less. Be ready to play <laughs> Julianne Johnson. Here we go. Sadie at the back door first. You got it.
看着。
of this, we'll be ready for our concert. <laughs> Everybody will, at the jam will have to meet up in person and have a big... A giant concert. <clears throat> we'll have to have a rehearsal before the jam. <laughs> this was a rehearsal. <laughs> this is our rehearsal. We're having hours and hours of rehearsals. 26 hours, 33 minutes, and 45 seconds. <laughs> You want to stay on fiddle and go uh, G? Sure, yeah, let's go to the key of G, everybody. I could play some dulcimer, maybe. G maybe. as in gnome. Do you want yes. to do our um, new tune, the latest? Uh, or do you want let's do, do standard, some standard kind of... first, and then we'll okay. do that. Okay, so G tune requests. Send them in. G, key of G. Tune up. Cool. And if you are so inclined or feel motivated and are capable, Oops. we certainly appreciate virtual tips in the form of Venmo or PayPal. The link is there at the top. Traveler's and, uh, checks, or yen, ruples. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think we take this. Kronix. Pounds. Seneca Square Dance, there's the first one coming in. Coming in hot from Carol. All right, key of G, everybody. Mandola. Sweet. Are you going to play dulcimer? Uh, I could. Are you going to do Santa Sure, Christmas? sure, okay. yeah. You got that? You had that, right? <laughs> All right, I mean, here is Seneca Square Dance in the key of G. You got it? it should be enough. Okay, yeah, I got that. For you. All right. Thank you. 
G tune request. Let's see, we oh, have Roscoe. We had, and we also had uh, shoes and stockings. Henry King's reel. Oh yeah. Henry King. Saudi. Oh, second golden tick. Uh, golden golden ticket. nail that catfish. Golden ticket. Hey, well, we got a lot of them. Um, do you guys want to do the golden ticket? Yeah, I love golden ticket. Do that. Sure. Uh, Great new tune by Eric Merrill. It's a new tune, but the recording of his album is definitely in the in betweens. Uh, you know, it's in a weird G flatish. Oh yeah, is that right? Is yeah, that, yeah. Hmm. Pretty hard to play along with, uh, tuning wise. I probably retune when reforms. I play it along. Yeah, it's a great tune. Fabulous tune. Well, well since this is our last jam of 2020, no one is required to do this, but I'm going to share with you my old time music resolution. And uh, that for me is to learn three tunes on the harmonica exactly the way that Mark Graham plays them. If you have an old time music uh, New Year's resolution that you'd like to share, drop it in the chat or tell your friend. <laughs> you know, that's kind of New Year's resolution light. Ticket.
you gonna play it on fiddle? Or do you... Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll play Dulcimer. Let's right. play some fiddle. Okay, Roscoe. One of the Baltimore old time jam hits. <laughs> right. Well, hope you're all doing okay out there. You're always uh, welcome to uh, let us know what you're playing, where you're tuning in from. We are in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Let's do a couple more in G. I know someone requested old Chattanooga. And, um, now that catfish comes yeah. in. Faster. Uh, we got Holcomb Greer saying North Carolina breakdown for the Tar Heels out here. <laughs> yeah. Waynesboro from Caroline. Got a lot of G tunes. Henry King's real. Yeah. What do you want to do? Let's do that new one. Uh, this is called Springfield Girls. Oh, okay. yeah. We'll do that. We'll come back to Let's some see. of those. Who'd you learn this one from? I learned this from that great source of tunes known as Tube U. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as YouTube. Oh, cool. I came across this tune uh, on a recording with Pete's Posse that I did this summer. Oh, oh yeah, very they, cool. They did a, they did a, they a set of old time tune mm. called Old Time Gals in Springfield. Uh, yeah. Ga what other gal tunes were in there? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to go check out their album. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, so, yeah, yeah I learned this uh, from the playing of Negoci mm -hmm. Fields on a YouTube recording of him playing a clip top. It's in G. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's unresolved, so both parts end on a D chord. Just be warned. Yeah. Springfield Girls. How's it start again? Uh. Uh. Okay, here we go. Okay, Springfield nice. Girls.
Mario Girls. That's me. All right. How about maybe one more in G, and then we'll go and finish off in the key of A. Woo! So we had um, someone had been texting me all Chattanooga. Do you want to do that one, or do you want to? Do it? Sure, we can do Chattanooga. Henry King Real for another time. Yeah, we should another definitely. Catfish. We'll write that one down for the next time. G. I gotta say, if I had to, if I could only take one key with me to a desert island. Of old time tunes, it yeah, would be G. the key of G. <laughs> I might do A. <laughs> well, I could do all my A and cross G. Mm. Will that work? Does that count? Yeah, what's everyone's yeah. favorite key? <laughs> I, I think I'm in the G camp. G is just the most versatile, I find, on fiddle. Well, you can, the, yeah, the range. It's really but, the most, but, it's the most, it's the biggest range biggest for range, melodies. But, right. But, a, you can cross, when you cross A, you can I, do, do all I think A is A is nice. It's a bit more one-dimensional. I think G, you can have dark, spooky tunes. You can have really pretty tunes. You can have ragers. There's just like every type of tune in the key of G. Yeah. But, you know, for the high energy, late night jams, That's sure, right. A is fine. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, A. But, you know, D is, is also good for those. I think D is probably the best key for square dances. Yeah. Oh, we're doing old Chattanooga. But I've, I've changed my mind many times. Speaking of Chattanooga. And keys, I think we've played about four or six tunes in the key of C. Yeah, <laughs> Since we've yeah we're going to do a C tune here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying anything. I huh? think we should do a, a C. We'll have a C session next time. I think we can just plan on that. Well, Ken and Brad, we've lost some folks because of all our chattering. So that what they said? Play? Yeah, no, I mean, I said the numbers drop. So let's play some tunes. Oh, okay, tunes. That's, that's why I wore the shirt. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Yep.
<laughs> shoes on the floor. <laughs> oh, we never did play shoes and stockings, did we? We did talk about shoes That's all right. and socks. We'll do it next time, I guess. Key of A. Here we go. Anybody else dancing along out there? Woo! I haven't done much flat footing this year. Usually I do it out at jams at festivals. Late at night when no one can see who's dancing. Well, now that no one lives in your basement, you don't, uh, you've got all the practice time you could ever want. You know, this year I've definitely gotten a lot better at the harmonica because there have been less jams to go to and things like that, so I've been practicing. of doing uh, these winter fundraising shows for Bluegrass Country Radio, so I'm very much in the mindset of uh, fundraising. <laughs> fundraising. It's like a whole way of thinking. Alright, what do we uh, oh. plan? What do we start with? Uh, well, play it. Let's play. Go for it. Yeah. We're not going to play this one fast. We should definitely get in Shenandoah Falls because that was requested oh, yeah. last week as well. Okay. All right, what do we have? Bull at the wagon. Bull at the wagon. Three parts. Three parts.
Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> Bull at the wagon. All right, how about there was a request earlier for a uh, big-eyed rabbit. Oh, <clears throat> oh, it's a great one. Way we earlier. We see that one all yeah. the time. In emoji form. Yeah. Um, we should do that one. Yeah, how about I, I'll play that on fiddle. We might pick up the tempo a bit on this one. Just warning you. Yeah. We should do Shenandoah Falls, I guess. Oh, right, 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 yeah. You, play, you don't play that on fiddle, do you? No. I mean, we don't need necessarily. I can lead it on Hammer yeah. Dolsman. Yeah. What did you just say? I can lead it on Hammer Dolsman. I thought yeah. I heard you say Mountain Dolsman. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, Brad, can I play your banjo? Yes. That that tune, uh, Bull at the Wagon, that I always think of, uh, I learned that tune at uh, Kentucky Music Week. So I always think of that. Do you do that with tunes where you, you know, where you learn the tune just makes you think of the tune yeah, always yeah. makes you think. Memories, think like, uh, like a good detune, the Bell of Lexington, I'll always have a memory of playing that late at night uh, with Brad and uh -huh. Mark and Amy of the band Golden Shoals. Yep. And, uh, uh, wait, oh, what's his name? I'll always remember. <laughs> I always remember this. Yeah, I have this. Uh, Except for the guys. Yeah. One of the Furtados, Joe Furtado. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. What tune was that? That, that was the Bell of Lexington. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we playing? All right, here is Big Eyed Rabbit. Oh, Big Eyed Rabbit. <laughs>
Big Eyed Rabbit 2020. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor for 2020. Ah, I never knew that. Prime in my pan. <laughs> if we fried 2020. 2020 in our pan, what would it taste like? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask one more time. Do you have any old time New Year's resolutions? Is there a tune you've been waiting your whole life to learn? Is 2021 mm. the year for you? Well, the resolution is is kind of like uh, something that you do that you would like to change. Mm. You know, it's not necessarily like a goal per se. Yeah, it's sort of like a goal related to some, like, you know, I think would like to stop eating uh, cookies and milk every night. I'd like mm. to stop playing the four chord in this one tune when I yes. always play the five chord. <laughs> like, I will... <laughs> you know, like this year, I will stop playing out of tune all the time. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't really have a, a resolution I yet. I do. I have a couple days to. What's yours? I don't have one. Oh, you don't have one? Mm -mm. Alex is. So uh, you've got an obscure one, right? I mean, I, well, I, I want to learn three tunes on the harmonica exactly like Mark Graham, who I've started taking some Zoom lessons from. Also Great harmonica, old time harmonica player. Yeah. For those of you not. Familiar? Ooh. Okay, we've got time for a couple more tunes. Yeah. Keep it. Goal is to change your strings. That is a great, <laughs> that is a good goal. I change my banjo strings every few weeks, actually, every month or so. Fiddle strings? Fiddle often. strings, I change them about every six months. Yeah, no more than six um, months. Bass strings, I change mine every week. That's um, not true. <laughs> probably every decade. Three to five years, <laughs> probably. Yeah. I've changed the strings on this bass once. Mm. Uh, how often do you change the reeds in your harmonica, Alex? Uh, never yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever change my strings on the hammer dolls for me. Yeah. Really, you never change them? Nope. Any other requests? Boy, then buzzards are flying. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Sandra. That's a tough one. Yeah, maybe we'll end with that. It's yeah, that's, that's, that's a good kinda, one. A Denise bit of a did there. ask if there was anything we could play by Tony Rice, realizing that oh, yeah, Tony is not Rice. Grass, yeah, but, Tony you know, Rice. May he, May he rest in peace. What a hero to the guitar in a, someone who just revolutionized the guitar and bluegrass yeah. music. Yeah, tomorrow on Bluegrass Country Radio at noon Eastern, I'll be doing a show uh, dedicated to bluegrass music of the 1990s. I'll be doing lots of Tony Rice music. That's at bluegrasscountry.org. Tony, Tony Rice died uh, this week. Right? He died on there. Christmas Day at the age of 69, one of the greats of bluegrass, inspired many generations of guitar players, and uh, certainly adjacent to the old-time world, many of our old-time pals are also big fans of bluegrass, and uh, yeah. we used to listen to Tony Rice, certainly an innovator, not just on the guitar for improvisatory purposes, but also playing lots of old-time tunes as well in his recordings, recording quite a number of instrumentals that are common old-time tunes. Did that uh, beautiful recording of uh, Gordon Lightfoot songs. Yeah. Oh, many Gordon yeah. Lightfoot songs, yeah, yeah huge huge fan yeah yeah all right well let's do uh what was the g uh, 18, 18 uh, we, we got ones we don't really have any ones but some from last week we got boost shot lincoln all right shenandoah falls mike in the wilderness tater patch yeah let's do boost shot lincoln all right
every old time tune should end. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We have time for a couple more, maybe? Yeah, let's do two more quick ones here. Okay, any requests? <coughs> well, there, yeah, there oh, is. let's see. Uh, what should we announce? Oh, oh, yeah. If you contribute $20 or more to the jam here and you'd like a copy of the uh, latest, well, actually, this is a September edition of the Banjo Newsletter featuring an interview with uh, myself and Kathy Fink. I will send you one. I've got a ton of these. And Happy uh, to send these along. Yeah, there's all kinds of good stuff in yeah. here for you banjo players out there. Of course, I have my online banjo channel, Clawhammer Corner, on True Fire, and uh, there's a link for a seven-day free trial that I have in case you are interested. You can message me, and I'll send that to you. We all teach online. Alex teaches uh, online, guitar, banjo, bass, harmonica. harmonica. Yep. Hit him up for lessons, and of course, my father has Hammer a Dulcimer fiddle Bill. book and hammer dulcimer, and all we, kinds and of we're, stuff. And we're teaching at uh, coming up at the. Upper Potomac uh, Fiddle Retreat, when, which is uh, in early January. Um, and uh, I'm also doing in March, this is a ways off, um, I'm doing a fiddle retreat for three days, uh, a Zoom retreat. You've got your banjo festival. That's right, in late January, the weekend of January 29th through the 31st with Kathy Fink and I, we'll be hosting another one of our online old-time banjo fests with all kinds of great teachers this year. We've got uh, Dan Geller. Ivy Shepard, Cameron DeWitt, Maggie Shar, the Horsenecks, uh, I'm forgetting somebody. Of course, Kathy Fink and I are teaching as well. Steve Boffman, the other teacher. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a really nice collection of instructors. It's a whole weekend of workshops and concerts. Uh, that's And the early bird weekend pass is still available through the next week or so. January 8th, I think, is when that cuts off. So the online Old Time Banjo Festival, it's coming up soon. Great. Uh, well, I think maybe we've got time for one more tune. What do you think? We would, yeah, we would do. Um, one more gotta, tune. We got to end with a with a good one here. Okay, let's see. Let's get patch. those requests in there. Let's do. That's let's one. do a request. Shadow Falls is still on the table. Okay, Lisa, if you'd like a banjo magazine, send me an email with your address, and I will send you a copy. Okay. Let's see. Oh well, thank you, Denise, for the kind words about Clawhammer Corner. Yeah, it's been a lot. I have over 200 videos up there by now. It's been a lot of fun to work on that and build that up from scratch this year. Great. Colin will be joining us. Oh, yeah, Lisa, send me a message, not in the comments. I'm not going to find that. Send me a direct message if you can. Uh, click on my name and send me a message. Thanks. I should mention, along those lines, video, videos. I have Boatman. Tons. Yeah. Oh, Boatman be good. Colin I have tons of videos Boatman. out there on uh, my website yeah. as well on Hammer Dulcimer. Playing the hammer also. There are Boat also players out there. Let's so go. Work. All right. We'll see you in 2021. Three, Three parts. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh yeah. Where's no. your uh, Where's your potato saxophone? Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Good question, Alex. <laughs> Where's yeah, your I showed potato up this evening. saxophone? When my father arrived, he basically just uh, waltzed on into the living room doing a. Uh... And doing this. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at this. Yeah. Right way there. You gotta, gotta, you gotta get in the camera. Hey, Ken, you're starting this tune. Oh, wait, wait. Get up close to the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's show okay. him the. It's a okay. potato that looks and like ready, a saxophone. And ready, kick it off. <laughs> kick it off, Ken. Ready, one. That's okay. Nice. Can you get lower? <laughs> you're not done. <laughs> <laughs> saxophone.
own pillow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's nice. <laughs> cool. Thanks for joining us. Oh. <laughs> Something to play uh, <laughs> in two days. I already loosened my bow. You can uh, <laughs> pull that video up. <laughs> right, not really. See you all. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody! Thanks for sticking with us here in 2020 for this uh, virtual Baltimore old time slow jam. We've had a, a lot of fun doing these jams every couple weeks, and we'll continue doing them as long as uh, you're there. We aren't playing jams in person. We'll keep doing these jams. That's Thanks right. so much for continuing to tune in and throw tips in the tip jar. Thank you. And all the kind notes, you're always welcome to write us anytime. It's always good to hear from you, particularly these days. So thank you so much for uh, for being part of these online old time jams. And it was such a great crowd tonight. It looks like we had over a hundred people consistently tuning in on Facebook and nice. many more on YouTube. So thanks to everybody for being such loyal uh, participants here. Okay, well, so long, everybody. We will see, see you in 2021. Have a safe, healthy, and happy new year. That's Alex Lacomont on the, let's see, guitar, bass, harmonica, harmonica banjo, banjo. Ken Kalodner here on the uh, saxophone potato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where's, uh, where's my potato? The <laughs> fiddle and hammer dulcimer. And, and the guitar in 2021. Guitar <laughs> in 20, New Year's resolution, finally practicing the guitar. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, Brad Kalodner here playing banjo, fiddle, some feet, and a little guitar. A little guitar, yeah. All right, so long. See you in 2021. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Happy See New ya. Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. <laughs>